Claremont are somewhat going through the motions as the season draws to a close, but they had the chance to close the gap to the top half when they welcomed bottom side Andre to start Gabriel Montpellier. Hosts had bounced back from successive defeats with successive wins over Troyes and Ajaccio, but remained marooned in 11th place, 5 points from 10th and 9 points clear of 14th. As a situation Andre could only dream of, 14 points from safety, but they did extend a rare unbeaten run with an unlikely victory last time out and took the lead inside half an hour here. Adrian Unu returning to haunt his former team with a nicely struck half volley that flew into the corner past Mori Dior. Previously on loan at Clermont during his earlier playing days, Unu scored seven in his main season with Le Lancier, now just his fourth with Sko in what has been a largely frustrating season. And only four minutes after celebrating with his teammates, Unu would be forced to apologise to them after bringing down Neto Borges in the area. Hero to zero stuff. Rajon Kier stepped up and made no mistake with the penalty at his third goal from the spot in three attempts in the league since the turn of the year. Only Jonathan David scored more penalties during that time. Incredibly, another six minutes later, he could have had the opportunity to equal David's tally of four after Cedric Ntunji's clumsy foul on the number 95. However, with Kay receiving treatment, it was Hamid Cham who took up the task. And he just about succeeded in completing the turnaround. Pointing to his head, not entirely sure that was his plan. Striking his penalty softly against the leg of Paul Bernardoni. The ball somehow creeping over the line. There was then more hero to zero stuff as the man who won the first penalty was then sent for an early bath. Borges concluding a frantic first half with a reckless challenge on Nabil Benteleb was eventually pulled back and a red card shown. Longe captain forced to miss the rest of the game. So into the second half, possessing a potentially match-changing numerical advantage, Longe came close to equalising as Unu struck the post. Turning away from Maximiliano Coffier, beating Dio once again, but this time denied by the woodwork. There wouldn't be another clear-cut chance for either side after that, but that wasn't to say the drama was over. Unu had a penalty shout turned down. Dry smile from the goal scorer. And then deep into injury time, Claremont would be reduced to nine. Andrew Seydoux seeing red in every sense after Jan Valery had pulled him back and then kicked the ball into him. Hand to the throat. An inevitable decision for the referee at his first red of the season, despite that being his tenth card and his fourth in his last three appearances, had perhaps been coming. Nonetheless, Clermont held on to record a third successive top flight win for just the second time in their history. Andre are now a staggering 17 points adrift of safety and could have their relegation confirmed next time out, despite there still being seven games to play.